and this is Sophia has two more stuff. And this time we have too many caterpillars. So we ordered this from what is it from? Insect so lore. And here's what it looks like at the top: a cup of caterpillars. And that's where they're breathing from. We got, I think, five caterpillars. Is there one up there? Let's see if I can gently. Yep. Right there, guys. One, two, three, four, five. That's the food that they have on the bottom. And we have to leave them in here. We're not going to touch them. We're leaving them in this cup until they form a chrysalis. And we'll keep you guys updated every day to show you how our caterpillars are doing. So stay tuned because we're so excited. This is our first time doing this at home. I did this in school when I was really little and this is Sophia's first time. Are you excited? Yeah, and this caterpillar's like, been climbing up for a lot of time to try. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll keep you updated, guys. Hey guys, this is day two of us having the caterpillars. There's more of this, I guess, webbing you can call it um that they make at Sophia so some tips it are to make sure that you don't put them in direct sunlight it can cause condensation which is not good for them so we have them in a room that has a table and the table is a little bit away from the tape from the sun from the window I mean and we are using a magnifying glass yeah. so that we can see them a little bit better so I suggest getting a magnifying glass don't use a flashlight and yeah, we have five caterpillars still. That's their food on the bottom. And some of them are sleeping and one of them yawned. <laughs> we read that they are nocturnal, which means that they're more likely to sleep during the day and stay up all night. So they're pretty inactive right now. They'll wake up a little bit, take a bite of food, and then go back up and sleep. We'll keep you updated on all the progress. Hey guys, it is day three. Caterpillars look like they got longer. Um, I don't know what that is, but I think that's them shedding their skin, that little black thing there that's away from their body. There's poop in there, I know, a little gross. And um, yeah, they got a little bit bigger. They're eating a lot. There's a lot of like the silk webbing. I'm excited to see what they look like in a few days. Hey guys, it's day, I think, four now. They did definitely get longer and a little bit thicker, but for sure longer, you can see. And there's a lot more of, like, you know, the poop, I guess. And the, uh, what's it called? Webs. The, the web being kind of thing. And, yep, yeah, they definitely got bigger. I don't know if you guys can tell. It looks like they doubled in size to me. With the exception of this one looks a little small still, but that one's definitely big. Because it ain't the most. It did. We'll keep you guys updated. Hey, everybody. I think I skipped a day, so I don't know if this is day five or six. Hi, guys. It's me. I think these two caterpillars on the top, or they're three, actually. I think there's is four of them are getting ready to form their chrysalis because they've been hanging like that for quite some time. This little guy on the bottom, for some reason, he is the smallest out of all of them. So I don't know if something is wrong or he's just a little behind. Um, but other than that, you know, everything seems to be going in the direction that we hoped. They definitely got bigger. And huger and fatter. Yep, and there they are, hanging from the top. There's four of them and one on the bottom. Tiny, tiny one. Hopefully that one makes its way up to the top. And we will keep you guys updated on what they look like tomorrow. What they look like tomorrow. Hey guys. Say hey, so. Hi. So this morning when we woke up, we had three chrysalis and one caterpillar was still in the J form. Um, but now four of them are chrysalis and that one that's been behind since we've gotten it, the one that's been the smallest and kind of doing everything last is still crawling around. Look, that one's shaking. That's totally normal for them to shake um, and move. It's actually a defense mechanism. And this caterpillar on the top, I don't know if you guys can see it. It just keeps crawling around, crawling around. And um, these are shaking to get rid of it. Like, get off, get off. But it's so cool. If you see this right here, that's actually a part of them that they shed off. 
in order to turn into the chrysalis. And they all of them have them. It's one right there, there, and there's some on the floor, and there. So that's all of their shedding, kind of like a snake in a way. But the one that keeps making one snake is on top, guys. Yep. Let me see if I can get a better view if I turn it gently that way. There's that one that just keeps crawling around. That one's shaking and saying, get away, get away, get away. Look how fast that one shakes, guys. It's so crazy. Who knew? This is so crazy. Oh my goodness. So now the next thing we have to do is wait again. Having caterpillars is all about being patient. So we have to wait for um, three days for the chrysalis to get hard. Um, and then we'll transfer them to their butterfly habitat. And hopefully this one turns into a chrysalis today because he's kind of holding up the whole show. I don't know when to transfer them if he takes even longer. But yeah, I can't wait for them to turn to butterflies. It's going to be bittersweet because you only get to keep them for a few days and they turn to butterflies. But oops, sorry guys, that's my nail getting in the way of the camera. But anyway, we'll keep you guys updated. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching for more. Press the bell button. Hi, guys. Hey, we're updating you on our chrysalis. So, the last caterpillar that we weren't sure if he was or she was going to make it. It looks like they are trying. That's called the J form that they make while they're making chrysalis. He is taking a lot longer than the rest of them. But there you guys can see the rest of them. Let me see if I can bring this closer. That's what the chrysalis looks like. It really reminds me of bats, like I said before. And the bottom here is so gross, guys. So I can't wait to get them out of here, but we do have to wait for the chrysalis to harden. But I'm super excited to share with you guys when we move them to their little net habitat thingy. I don't know what it's called, I forgot. It's called a butterfly habitat. Butterfly habitat, yes, you're right, my dear. All right, guys, we'll update you when this one finally changes into, or transforms, or whatever it's called. Bye! Into chrysalis! Go ahead, say your bye thing that you always bye. say. Bye! <laughs> I miss you guys! Here is it turning into a chrysalis. It's wiggling. Something is kind of forming around it. Wow, this is so cool. Let me see if I can put the phone down. Sorry guys for the noise. I'm actually eating lunch. We were eating and watching them. I think all the butterflies are coming out. Guys. No, there's no butterflies coming out. <laughs> guys, when, once you wait three days for them to solidify, then you transfer them and I think you wait another week for them to turn into butterflies. About a week to ten days. So you have to be really patient, but I like it because if they turn into butterflies really fast, then you can enjoy it. Yeah. And then you have to let them go. We can't wait for them to turn the butterflies and get to, we get to feed them um, oranges and stuff. Cause I love oranges. I only ate tangerines and I thought they're oranges when I was a kid. And if you saw the first episode of this Sophia has too much stuff, comment down below in the comments. I wonder what our first video was. I think our first video was Polly Pocket. Yeah, it was. A lot of people subscribed. Thank you, and subscribe for all our other butterfly wow. videos, too. Wow, it's really transform, transform, wow, transforming, sorry guys, into this A chrysalis. chrysalis. <laughs> Finally, I didn't think it was going to happen, but we're excited. Yeah. Alright, just wanted to update you guys. Bye, later. Hey guys, I'm Mommy. I'm Sophie. And here's our caterpillars. We're getting ready to transfer them and to Mrs. their. Sophia has too much stuff. So this is our kit. This is what we'll eventually put sugar and water in yeah. with the cotton ball so that they can drink when they come out. But we don't need that right now, so I'm gonna put it to the side. And this is their little toy. No, it's not a toy. This is where I'm going to put the lid. Yeah. And this is their habitat here. So we're gonna open this up. 
Rain help you. This is so sad. So, you have to pull that up. And this tab. Woo! That was fast, guys. It popped up. They put this here just in case you want to hang it somewhere. They suggest you do that if you have pets or anything like that that you want to keep away from the butterflies. Okay. So, let me get started. I'm going to open this habitat up. This is a little, okay, this is the cotton, like, not cotton, what is this called, foam? That you put the sugar water on like this, and then they drink from that. If you leave a puddle of water, or a little bit of water, they could drown. So it's better to put on a cotton ball or this. All right, so let's get it started. Let me open this up. This is the little dropper to drop the sugar, but we don't need that right now. And let's open. Hey guys, the little dropper looks so cute. Move the box out of the way. I think I know how to drop it. Okay. Now gently remove the cover. I'm nervous. This thing is so good for my potions too, guys. I'm scared. I'm like doing it really gently. Okay, there we go. I was afraid I wasn't getting anything. Gently. Okay, guys. You guys have to be super gentle with this process. There we go. So don't move, please. And then you just gently put it on its side. Ooh, they're moving because they felt something. There we go. Now I have to try to get it in here without any issues. Oh my god, they're moving. Kind of creepy. Okay, transferred safe. We just have to zip it closed. And it's gonna take about a week for them to turn to butterflies. You have to wait three days, guys, for them to, for the chrysalis to just, like get a little solid. Forgot the term they use. You can't move them the minute that they become chrysalis. Hey guys. Hey guys. I'm Mommy and this is Sophia. And, and three me. out of the five of our butterflies have come out of their cocoon. And me and chrysalis. Chrysalis, sorry. And let's see, there's one right there. I don't know where the other ones are. Where are the other ones? Oh, they're on the bottom there. It's kind of hard to see them. Yeah, there's I one there on the bottom, one in the back of the lid. And there's one right here that's easy to see. We, they have been out for a couple of hours now, but the other ones are not out. But uh, we're gonna try to feed the, but, the ones but, that have been out. But there's, but one of them is locked, so it's gonna come out in another hour so hard to see in the net sorry guys we're trying our best all right so let me get the food ready hey guys so we got one third cup of water that we're gonna put in here and guys some packs don't come with your stuff like some this. packs do not come with this feeder but you can always use a cotton ball or tissue paper so you put the cut um, the what is this called the little foam thingy in the middle of this little flower feeder so I'm gonna open these packs and so then you'll mix it when I put the sugar in. So this says mix two sugar packs with one third cup of water. Let me put both first, okay? It also says to drip a few drops into your butterfly feeder. Now you're gonna have a lot of this mixture left over. You have to refrigerate it. You cannot just leave it out or it will not be good for the butterfly. So go ahead and mix that together really well. Like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure all the sugar is incorporated into the water. I'm gonna hold it, so you don't really know how to hold it. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get it in there, but. But I think I can do it. Okay, stop. All right, let me see. Let me make sure. All right, so now you have to fill the dropper up by squeezing this. it and putting a few drops. Can I try? Yeah. Into the feeder, so you have to put it in a sponge specifically. Okay, let go. You don't want to put too much. You don't want the butterflies to get wet. They should be able to put, is it their proboscis? I can't remember how it's pronounced, guys. Proboscis. Or something like that. The little thing looks like a tongue, basically. It comes out of their mouth. So I think we put a little too much because it's not absorbing yet. Okay, there we go. Now it's absorbing. i just put like, a little drop in that corner there. Okay. Mm, we're all done. Now we're going to put this to the side. And I'm going to try to open this up just a little bit without getting these butterflies like, oh, I'm a little nervous. How am I gonna put this in? 
without them coming out. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, can they see? No, they cannot see. Here we go. Okay, there's one right there in the corner that I don't want. Here we go. Oops, I spilled some water. Let's cover that up. Okay. Okay, so we have the feeder. Let me just move this handle so you guys can see right there. Now that little red stuff you see on the side, right over here, that's just some of the stuff that comes out when they open up their cook, I mean chrysalis, sorry. So it's nothing blood. to worry about. It's not blood, it's something else, I forgot the word. But meconium, I think it's called. There's one butterfly there, one right there on the bottom, and one right there. And then we have two cocoons left open we think that one that's the darkest right there the one that looks almost blackish or dark gray is next so yeah hopefully they eat their food soon we'll keep you guys updated Hi guys. hey guys so all of our butterflies finally came out we have all five we have some orange slices there for them we have that little sponge that we have dripped some sugar water on over there in that purple thing and when you put fruits in there, you have to put it on a plate. I'm trying to get the it to be in focus. Yeah. There's our butterflies. Let me see if I can get. Oh, there we go. Now it's focused. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, inside their pattern looks like a monarch. They kind of look like monarchs. Yep. They're not mon. They're lady painted butterflies. Painted lady butterflies, I think they're called. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited, but I'm scared when they do do. I'm scared. She's that afraid when they flutter for some reason. I keep losing the focus. Okay. And guys, did you know that they have four wings? Mm-hmm. They're stretching their wings right now and flapping them as much as they can. So they could learn how to fly because they're babies. Oh no no no. Don't mind me, guys. We haven't seen them drink anything from the oranges, which I'm sure they have. We probably just missed it. Um, but we've seen them, like, sit on it, and that's about it. This one that's on the little white lid right there is the one that just came out. He was the last, or she, was the last to make a chrysalis and the last to emerge. So it seems to be whoever made the chrysalis first, comes out first, and so forth. Well, yeah. We are going to keep them for about two more days, and then we got to let them go. And then, did you guys know if they don't mate, they die, and if they mate, they don't die? No, the opposite. If they mate, they die. Um, once a female, uh, what's it called, butterfly, hatches all the eggs that she can, she dies. And that's it. If they don't mate, they have a chance of living much, much longer. Yeah. Go ahead, talk. Hey, guys. Hey. We are letting our butterflies go. All five of them hatched, or whatever you want to call it. So put it down. You can put it down on the floor. All right, we're gonna put it down, and we're gonna let them out. Hi, I'm Bang Bang. Okay, right. watch out, boo. All right, go ahead. Hi, Bon Bon. Come on, guys. I don't think they're gonna want to come out. Come on. Come on. Move you might have to move it a little bit. There's a bug. Hello. Come on. Are they coming out on your finger? Uh -huh. Here we go. Oh, let's stay on mommy. Can I try? Go, go, go with mommy. Go with mommy. Let mommy help you. Or... Come on, guys. Yeah, they don't gonna come together. Oh, no. Let's see, guys. Go. Go ahead. This one's right here. Come on, You want to steal on me? No, I flew off. Three more to go. Come on, guys. Gotta get you out of here. Let the butterfly go, boo. Come on, come there you go. There you go. That's another one. So we got three of them out. Two more. <gasps> it's not like they don't. Be careful, boo. There we go. Come on. And the baby, of course. He doesn't want to come out? No. <laughs> Oh, 
You went back in? Went back in. Okay. Look, mommy, it's staying on her. Be careful. Look at this one come out. It's okay. It'll fly. It'll fly, boo. Don't worry. Leave it, leave it, leave it. It'll fly. Yeah, it'll be okay. You might have to turn it on the side. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to squash it. That's it's okay. Come it'll come. Scared. It's okay. It'll move. Don't worry, boo. Why are you scared? Uh, so don't. I want to try. That one does not want to come out. You try. I Nope. I don't want you to squash it, boo. Maybe I'll put orange with it. There we go. Hey, you can put the oranges right there on the side. I'd okay. leave it. 